Frustration tonight for homeowners in Denver's Sunnyside neighborhood after a group of teenagers went on a late night joyride in a forklift. Mm. They slammed head on into garages and other buildings and Denver 7's Jessica Porter spoke to one homeowner who caught them in the act and saw the trail of destruction firsthand. Now this scaffolding was one of the things that was damaged by that forklift. You can see it's warped and barely standing. The homeowner says the suspects involved were just teenagers, but he says this was no prank. Someone could have gotten hurt. The paint on these new townhomes on 41st and Inca has barely dried. We just moved in about a month ago. Um, some of these are under construction, but you know, some people are living here too. And um, some people even live uh, with their living rooms on the bottom floor, so it's, a, it's lucky no one got hurt. Ryan Sands was about to wind down from a night out when he heard banging and honking outside. We saw at least five individuals driving around in a forklift and um, running after each other and running into buildings. He called police and even the 911 operator could barely believe that a forklift was going on a rampage. They were actually backing up and running in full force. Uh, probably trying to outdo one another. He says the suspects damaged several garages with the forklift, hit a car, the scaffolding, and entered one of the newly constructed townhomes not yet occupied. We saw them break into this unit here. Um, at least two of them were running around inside. Sand says police arrived within five minutes of his call, but the damage was done. Confluence Construction was the owner of the forklift, so my question to them would be, is it common practice to leave the keys in the forklift. Denver police say two adults and a juvenile were arrested for stealing the forklift and for damaging property. But Sands believes at least two other suspects got away. In Denver, Jessica Porter for Denver 7.